Hey guys, welcome back to our repair guys. As you know guys, uh, we got a new car that we've been working on. We got a Porsche Cayenne. Uh, this one will be the car that will be pulling all the, all the uh, cars for the channel, the trailer and all that stuff. Okay, check it out, this one right there. That's what we've been, we've been working on lately, so quite a few videos will come. But what are we doing today? We got a small Cayenne for, uh, for our kit, so I'm going to show you today and we'll put it together and see what it looks like. So this is a 12 volt car, uh, ride on car, uh, it comes with a, with a remote control, uh, like music player and all that stuff, headlights, working headlights and tail lights, so we'll see, super excited about it, it's, uh, it's for her uh, Christmas present, so let's go ahead and open the box and see what we have inside now. Okay, box in the box. So everything comes in pieces. So what we'll be doing today, we'll put it together and see if it runs and drives. Ah, the windshields here with the wiper. The seat with the seat belt as well. We'll see if it's a five point. Or four point bell, mirrors, everything comes, okay, it comes uh, disassembled, wheels, <laughs> more wheels, okay, one more here, so far, okay, how many wheels we got? Three wheels, so one is still hidden somewhere, okay, steering wheel here, this should be the battery. Or an empty box, or that's a charger most likely, charger for the battery, the battery is already installed on the car. Uh, it's supposed to be a dual motor car, one on this side, one on the other one. So let's uh, lift it up and see what it looks like now. <laughs> we even have original formats, rubber formats that you can wash in detail. That's awesome. This is the remote control for the for the parents. Okay, no my dirty fingers. We've been working on that BMW all day, doing some mechanical work. So we'll see how that one works now. So we have the on and off button, the uh, the music player, MP3 player here. It comes with a Actually, you can even play SD card and USB input. This is the reverse. Okay, back, go ahead button, high and low speed. Uh, as, as well, as, as well, we have two speeds. Opening doors. Okay, so let's put it together now and see what it looks like. So this is the phone tower now, and it has the lights integrated in the wheel here. So all that is lights, and that's uh, where the circuit is. Okay, you can see, and that's where it contacts. So. It even has shocks, <laughs> I'm surprised, he has working suspension on it. Okay, so this one, I believe you, we just push it in until it clicks in place. So we have to do press the central button and the wheel goes in. If you want to disconnect it again, press the button and pull it out. Okay, super, super simple design. This is a rear wheel, the same way, do not force anything. Okay, we have something in here this one will need to come out and now we can go ahead and install the wheel again it has the connectors okay this is the circuit for the lights because the disc brakes are actually lights so again we need to align everything push the button okay to lock in place okay this one is not locked in place okay so we need to make sure everything is aligning really good so on the front, on the rear side here, okay, we need to align it to go in the canal there and then push the button and push it in. So we'll do the same thing to the other side now. Okay, it's in. Okay, perfect. Doesn't go anywhere. We're going to install the front tower now. And it has the wheels on the back that's supposed to keep the car from flipping backwards. So that's a good, really good thing. The whole car is covered with plastic here, 
okay you can see so we need to peel that plastic out we have more let's install the front tag perfect okay now we can flip it on the wheels yeah. put the rest of it together steering wheel and we have to connect there is a wire connector here and if you want to later disconnect it all you have to do on those usually okay press it in like that and pull it out so this is the second wire we will connect both of them together push the wire in now the steering wheel okay you can see those spring loaded dots they will go in here but we need to turn it 180 degrees squish okay and push at the same time you gotta make sure that the connector is not in the way sometimes okay it's almost there perfect it went in so that's awesome now we need to install our windshield and for the windshield it looks like we have two screws okay one is over here and one identical to this one on the other side so we'll go ahead remove the screw here okay i'll get it with the pliers we remove the one on the other side he has a, a few clips on the front okay that you need to align and then you push it in okay perfect now don't forget to install your screw here and the one on the other side we have to do get this side so as you can see so far it looks really complicated when you first open the box but putting it together so far I think everything is super simple but again <laughs> never trust us for that stuff always double check your manual for everything this is just the way we do it for us doesn't mean that this is the correct way because sometimes we do not follow the instructions and that cost us so the mirrors have a protective film on top that we can peel off okay it's an actual actual mirror you can see like that so this one all we have to do just slide them okay push them in it goes only one uh, way okay let me see now and it's adjustable later okay perfect the one on the other side as well <coughs> now this is the battery okay let's see if everything is plugged in here like it should be okay the positive wire is not connected this is probably for safety so we'll go ahead connect ours now okay let's see if we have any power to the car okay we do like wow. lights are on tail lights are on the wheels wheels are on and headlights as well so we just noticed that the the front left tire does not light up so we need to connect our wire because okay our wire is loose okay we just noticed that so we need to go ahead and connect it whoever worked on it put it together they forgot to connect this this wire so uh, we'll take a few things apart and see how to get to it now so we had to take it apart quite a bit we opened the hood here and that's where all the connectors connect for the wheels headlights tail lights so we believe it's this connector okay right here we'll go ahead plug it in and see if it's going to work now we need to connect the 12 volt wire okay the one from the battery is not connected so let's do that first uh, because we disconnected it for safety and now the wheel okay that is super nice okay the wheel works so 
That's it, guys. We fix that part and we'll continue putting it together now. So uh, we're ready to install the seat now. Those those belts are the best thing on the market, guys. I'm just kidding. But you know, the five point belts are usually really good. So, okay, the seat goes in the front and then we need to install. There is a, there is a screw right here on the back side with a few of screwdriver again. And it's going to uh, hold the seat down this way. Super soft seat to the touch. Okay, the leather looks good on it. We need to move a little bit towards the back. Okay, to make sure that everything is aligning really good. Now, let's go ahead and see how we have a little bit of trunk here, even. Okay, to remove a little bit of a protecting, protective film. This is not a licensed Porsche car, it's by Moderno Kids, but it's pretty much a Porsche Cayenne replica. That's the closest that I could find on a Porsche Cayenne. So, we'll get our uh, rubber floor mats now. Those are super, super cool. <laughs> Look at that thing. You can even take them off to detail the car. Okay, perfect. We'll put the dining table together now. Uh, or at least that food tray. I call it a dining table. It's a food tray. And uh, the screws are in a little bag. All we have to do, align everything. Okay, and just install. There is uh, three screws on each piece. And so we doesn't do the end to see if that thing will run and drive. Okay, second one there, and then we have one more on the other side. Then this piece, okay, will go on this side, and it will have, okay, three more screws that you need to install. One, two, three. And this is the little, uh, the little food tray table installed. You have to open the doors, put it in, and then close the doors, and uh, the kid cannot even pull it out. So that's super, super cool. Well, I should have closed my door. I didn't have the door closed, but it's uh, super sturdy and stable. So let's see if that thing will start driving now. So we have the remote paired with the car already. Uh, it's super simple procedure. And now uh, we're going to go ahead and see if we can drive it without a kit. So you can see, you can adjust the speed on it and all that stuff. So pretty, pretty cool little thing. 